opportunity to take your interview yes sir yeah? i so, i feel honored to be here my pleasure now shridam before we start this formal interview now i can see your background it looks yes, like sir. a typical uh, star uh, yes, student performers wall so can you take yes, us sir. through your wall first because your wall looks very nice ah yes sir. just a minute yes uh should i i think can i turn it around sir i uh, know you can just go close maybe we we, we okay. would not maybe read it in detail but we we'll love to see uh, yes sir this okay. is like my uh, basic chart sir this is okay. my internship chart what i have on what days and this is my checklist sir so i have okay. uh, every subject the number of revisions that i did uh, okay. the aims capsule concept books swt pp tnd dvt like that okay and then coming to the other side uh, i have uh, the most important thing that i keep forgetting like uh, stagings uh, scorings uh, the um, uh, selective medium micro obviously and the normal values something like that uh, cd markers uh, cancers hla uh, some mnemonics like that okay chalo so take your seat now so we we yes, will sir. formally start start the yes sir go ahead and introduce yourself first buddy we we'll love to hear from you yeah good evening everyone i am dr sriram karthik uh, from uh, gandhi medical college hyderabad uh, i've given my i'm from 17 batch i've given my neat 2023 where i got 39000 rank and then i've given my november id set where i've got 808 rank and okay. i've used the uh, resources of uh, dams uh, since uh, pre foundation foundation and uh, aims tnd i mean i need a tnd okay now le- let's start you showed us on your chart uh, dvt how yes, how was that dvt monumental in your results uh, yes the dvt was actually very concise and crisp it had the most uh, important topics only the important topics not the whole history of all the diseases the most important topics in a pictorial graph which was very useful like i can just uh, even in the last days i was just going through the pages just seeing the pictures especially micro uh, path where i had only the most important uh, radio also the most important thing i just circled out which i keep forgetting which are memory based question, questions where i i should definitely have a pictorial memory so i marked them out even the day before the exam i just went through the dvt very fast way just only the marked ones so that i keep them in my mind and i can answer them right off my head when i see the question okay now next the inct tnd how did it help you uh, yes sir i was actually giving inct tnd twice uh, when i was doing the internship the previous batch and the november batch the inct tnd had um like 75 questions the high yield questions the previous year topics so i got a lot of them wrong but uh, the best thing was i saw the class and i learned the topics and the important things around it so actually a lot of them were repeats in the main exam actually so i felt like it was like giving a, a dams gt or tnd session okay now we could see that you have beautifully structured that uh, you will read the uh, the concept book you will read the notes you will do the tnd yes. you will you will be looking to the ppk so mm. how did you have this structured plan uh, there was something uh, like a uh, uh, dams uh, specific planner or something like that i'm not i don't exactly remember the name but it was like there sir i i couldn't follow that properly so i made a something similar to that uh, tailored to my needs where i can follow it because i made it up and i know where i am lacking so based on that i made one which is useful for me okay now how did you use the inct pyt series and the predictor series uh, yes sir i use the pyt very close to the exam so that i'll have fresh i have it fresh in my mind uh, i used to go through the topics uh, what they said and if i had any doubt i would uh, complete the uh, video and go back to the notes and see it if possible and uh, predictor series yeah yeah i saw that i used it as a kind of uh, a quiz so if there were like 20 questions i would uh, grade how many i got it right uh, and uh, i would go ahead with that like that so if i miss something something were new 
to me even in the last minute but i read only those topics which were uh, specifically said in pyt and uh, the D- predictor series i didn't bother to make any new uh, learning in the last few days n- just to you know uh, make it worse things worse okay so shidam uh, tell us few things what makes you uh, so successful or if i if i ask you tell me five things which actually makes you so successful with this particular exam because suddenly just two to three days prior to the exam they had changed the pattern as well yes sir. so did it actually uh, make you palpitate it or procrastinate that what will happen or how did you manage it actually first when i saw the message from the ims people i thought it was some kind of prank <laughs> but <laughs> i since i understood it later on uh, the pattern is new i accept it but it was it actually turned out to be in our favor because we had specific times time slots where we had to go through them again so i would since it's a 45 minute slot i completed the test in 40 minutes and the last 2 to 3 minutes i used to keep it for review uh, so it actually worked out in my favor giving me a 2 like, minute breather in between topics uh, that was good and even the uh, sections were actually structured very well there were equal amount of tough and easy questions where in the beginning it was easy in the middle it was hard and the, at the end it became easy so overall the sets were good the pattern was actually favorable for the students to be honest and uh, coming to the resources uh, uh, yes the dams people keep saying uh, what should be your uh, uh, the way you attempt the question like uh, go ahead in a fast mode don't keep too many for reviews so that actually helped a lot and uh, the resources as i used to use the pyts and predictors they were what helped me to get closer to my rank which actually came out as to not 8 not 8 okay now shidam tell us uh, what better you could have done because probably that is what a uh, small shidam sitting in the college currently in the first year or second year who knows that okay we have a senior who has cracked with such a good rank mm-hmm. i want to be like my senior but i want to be shridam 2.0 or 3.0 so what what will be your uh, guidelines for that kid yes sir the things that i could have done better would have been to you know start off early i did start off as a pre foundation but i didn't take it as seriously back then um, i would say take it pro- seriously give some time uh, finish of the classes start of gds as early as possible and keep reviewing them properly and one thing that i would definitely tell is don't be disheartened in this journey there were times where i had horrible results in gts so don't be disheartened by that keep on working on that uh, i did i started off with getting around 100 right in my initial gts so i kept on improving every four five tests so keep keep on attacking keep on learning from your mistakes that is one thing that i would definitely stress upon okay now what further for you uh, right now sir to be honest with my rank I'm, i wanted general surgery i was aiming for something like pgi or gipmer but right now i am in a tough spot i don't know if i will get it or not i'll have to see the counseling uh, if i'm lucky enough to get in uh, at least uh, a good college probably aims jodhpur or bhuvaneshwar that would be great uh, and if not i'll have to make a tough choice to take what i ha- get and respect the rank or sit again and write that is something i'll have to decide after the counseling okay uncle aunty must be very happy diwali time and you have actually give them a nice diwali gift i guess yes sir. my mom was actually very happy and uh, she is actually as anxious as me to see where i'll end up okay so you are basically from hyderabad uh not exactly sir we are from uh, parental my uh, father is from karnataka my mother is from uh, uh, andhra pradesh so we actually ended up in telangana okay great so where you are putting up currently at which place, city uh right now i'm in hyderabad sir okay and uh, at the end of the day you you being a person from hyderabad you know that the medical system is so good over there so what suggestion would you tell to any youngster who is who has actually chipped in into into hyderabad the coaching fraternity looking to so many students because hyderabad is always a very big batch so how yes, do you tell the kid that not to be lost in that crowd 
rather to make his or her own space the way you made yes sir the the dam's office here is actually very good those people i've called, pestered them a lot of times with calls with messages but they still replied to me they called me back they personally helped me and uh, we had sessions where i could personally meet the uh, lecturers i met tushar sir oh. once there i met uh, sandeep madan sir there uh, so they help you actually talk to them directly when they come to classes that helped a lot and uh, uh, basically when a student comes up there basically uh, whatever others all everyone says but it actually it's uh, at the bottom it uh, all falls down to what we do what we uh, take up basically so uh, people won't feel lost here in hyderabad that is for sure excellent so it was really wonderful to talk to you any yes. any concluding remarks from your side shira hmm. uh, i would like to say uh, Times actually helped me a lot. I couldn't imagine myself, uh, you know, clearing it out so smoothly without dams because I had no idea where to start, where to go ahead. But dams gave me a structured plan. Like, uh, okay, do pre-foundation, do foundation, and then do T and D, and keep giving GTs and slowly bring up, bring your score up like that. And daily motivation by uh, Sumair sir. deep team um, and every not just them everyone actually in their uh, telegrams or in instagram so they gave a structured plan a clear cut uh, focused path where uh, we should actually just focus and just do what they say and you will eventually get there but uh, hard work uh, obviously completely on us i mean i mean not on us like we have to we can't just uh, get a shortcut over there we have to just fo- follow what they say and keep working hard at it and not be disheartened in the minor failures that we get uh, take joy in those minor successes that we get and eventually when you keep on doing it doing it again and again and again and again you finally get there excellent so basically that's what sums up the saying try try until you fail to fail actually so yes. that's why probably you have made the mark and, uh, and yes. all the best iram and i hope yes. you you get at a very good college you would be getting ms there is no doubt in it yes mm-hmm. but and you get in a very good college because hyderabad has also come up with the aims now so we yes, hope sir. to see shriram as a successful faculty member probably in aims hyderabad or even in the big setups what hyderabad has to offer all the best buddy yes, from our side and Thank it will you, be a pleasure to host you at delhi or whenever we come down to hyderabad we'll love to meet you okay, yes and spend time okay So it was a pleasure Thanks. talking to you. Okay, buddy. Bye bye. Yes, sir. The honor was mine. Bye, yeah. sir. Bye. Take care. Thank you, sir.